Stephen Capobianco will not get a new trial. Today, a judge denied his request, saying the evidence does not show that Capobianco did not get a fair trial. In December, a jury found Capobianco guilty of murdering his pregnant ex-girlfriend, Carly Scott. But his attorneys demanded a new trial, claiming Capobianco did not get a fair shot. That was denied, but Scott's mother still has many questions. Bridget Namata is on Maui and follows up with the latest. Bridget? Joe, emotions were high in the courtroom today as Cabo Bianco's attorneys made one last effort before his sentencing date to overturn the guilty verdict. Carly's, Carly Scott's mother was there for the hearing and asked Cabo Bianco a burning question she needs answered. Stephen Capobianco is facing life behind bars without parole. Wearing an orange jumpsuit, he sat quietly as his attorney argued for his freedom. The instant case was likely the highest profile and publicized trial in Maui County history, with news articles being written on almost a daily basis. Public sentiment regarding the case was and is, and is extremely strong and most often hostile towards the defense. But Judge Joseph Cardoza shut it down, saying the break was during Christmas. And I think it would be uh, unrealistic, inappropriate, uh, and, and unfair to not allow the jurors to enjoy the Christmas holiday. Ultimately, the judge denied the motion for a new trial, saying there wasn't enough evidence in the defense's claims of an unfair trial. It's the outcome Carly's mother wanted, but she felt compelled to call out to Capo Bianco. Where is she, Stephen? Where is she? But Capo Bianco left the courtroom without acknowledging her. Later, Kimberlyn Scott tearfully told me it's the one question no one is asking, as Carly's body has never been found. Nobody but me is asking that question. None of the authorities, none of the people who interact with him legally ask this question, where is she? I don't know how to be satisfied. I don't, I don't know how to accept that this is justice at all until she at least comes home. What's next for Steven Capobianco? His sentencing date is March 24th. He is facing the possibility of life in prison without parole. He has the chance to appeal that ruling after the sentencing. Reporting live from Maui, Bridget Namata, KHON 2 News.